This is Imam Sanusi, his first investigation, the first muqaddimah, which was on the, the categories, categories of thought. He then moves on to several other investigations here, and we'll just read it from the Matan. The first is, Bismillah ar-Rahman ar-Rahim, qala al-Imam, nafa'an Allahu bihi wa bikum amin. Wal madhahibu fi al-af'ali thalathatun, madhabu al-jabariya, wa madhabu al-qadariya, wa madhabu ahli sunnah He says, in relation to, in relation to, um, sorry, let's put this properly. Allah. <coughs> yeah. Well, madahi bufi lafali thalathatun. In relation to actions, in relation to human actions, there are three ways, there are three approaches to thinking about actions. Madhab al Jabariya, Madhab al Qadariya, wa Madhab Ahl al Sunnah. The way of the Jabariya, the, 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 the Qadariya, and the Ahl al Sunnah. For Madhab al Jabariya, Wujud al Af'ali Kulliha bil Qudrati al Azaliyati Fakat, min Gayri Mukaranatin bi Qudratin Hadithatin. According to the Jabariya, Act, all actions exist only by virtue of the pre-eternal power. Only by virtue of God's power. And there is no connection with any temporal power. To put that another way, you are a leaf in the wind. You have no control over what you do. It is all brought about by God, and because you have no control, you have no responsibility. You are a leaf in the wind, you are blown wherever God wishes you to be blown. And hence you have no responsibility. Okay? So, what's the best argument to someone who makes this? Who makes this argument? Beloved of the Umayyads, beloved of the Umayyad rulers this particular argument, because they could sit there with the dancing girls and the wine in their hand, and when the, the ulama came to admonish them, they would say, what do you want me to do? This is God's will. God is doing this. Why are you blaming me? Why, why are you telling me anything? This is what God has willed. What was the response? Huh? A tight slap was the response. A tight slap. Yeah? Oh, how oh, dare you hit me, guards, guards. You say, are you blaming me? It was God's will. I didn't have any control over hitting you. God made me do it. Why are you blaming me? Right? Or to put it in there, that's, that's the Mulvi Sav answer. Right? But we'll come on to the, 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 more, the more sophisticated answer in a second. <laughs> Just a question here. Huh? How would they explain the problem of evil then? By the inverted commas, huh? God is the evil God. How do we explain it? Well, we explain that it's, you know, it's built, and then we've got, you know, nuances from that. that we, we don't even start with that. We start with the definition of evil. Mm. First you have to define, if you want to talk about the problem of evil, first you have to define evil. Well, let's come on to that. Let's not, because time is, time is going on. We'll, we'll, no doubt that will be an interesting discussion for I mean, one of us, one of our... Grand, di grand diversions. ومذهب مذهب القدرية وجود الأفعال الاختيارية بالقدرة الحادثة فقط مباشرة أو تولدا. The مذهب of the قدرية. So the absolute predeterminists and the absolute free willers or indeterminists. Those who believe everything is determined and therefore human beings have no choice. There is no such thing as a volitional action. This is the principle of the Jabariya. There is no such thing as a truly volitional action. Okay? As an action that you choose to do. The Qadariya. Every action is brought every ikhtiyari act, uh, action. So what's the difference? There's the two types of action. And an action is, a th is something happening, right? Doing something. 
And there is there is a type of action that's called ibtirari, which means a non-willed action. So, yawning, for example. Shivering when you're cold. This is a non-willed action. Right? Every other action is called an ikhtiyari action. A willed action. And the, per, the point of the Qadariya, they are the free w- team free will. Right? They are team free will. And what they say is that every action is determined, is uh, comes about solely on the basis of a qudratul, qudratul haditha, a temporal power, which means human act, human choice. Idtirari. Idtar yadtar with a dad. Yeah? That is to say, God does not have a say in what you do. Allah does not have a say in what you do. Okay? This comes about either mubasharatan or tawalludan. Either as a res- either in and of itself or as a result of other processes that take place. So you choose what you do, you choose freely. God has no say in it. Either on a whim or because of various processes that take place in the mind, if you like. Okay? وَمَذْهَبُ أَهْلِ السُّنَّةِ وُجُودُ الْأَفْعَالِ كُلِّهَا بِالْقُدْرَةِ الْأَزَلِيَّةِ فَقَطْ مَعَ مُقَارَنَةِ الْأَفْعَالِ الْإِخْتِيَارِيَّةِ لِقُدْرَةٍ حَادِثَةٍ لَا تَأْثِيرَ لَهَا لا مباشرة ولا تولدا. The principle of the Ahl Sunnah or the way of the Ahl Sunnah is at root agreeing with team destiny. At root, it's agreeing with the Jabariyyah. Okay? All actions r- arise or come into existence as a result of. God's will and God's power alone. Alone. However, there is a connection with human uh, human um, decision making or human power, but that connection is not one of ta'thir. Or, uh, I should say the human power is not a power that in and of itself brings about the action, but there is a connection between them. And there's, you might look at this from the perspective of what we covered with the hukam adi. Right? A leads to B, but A does not cause B. Whenever there is A, there is B, but A is not the cause of B. Alright? So, there, so, there is a human will. There is a temporal will and a temporal power that human beings possess. However, it by and of itself does not cause, in reality, the action to occur. So when you write notes in your no- on your notepad, okay, you are choosing to write notes on your notepad in one sense. But in reality, God is choosing for you. Your choice does not bring about the writing. God's choice brings about the writing. Yeah? God's choice brings about the writing. I sometimes explain, this is a, this is a very complex topic. This is a very complex topic. Imam Sanusi is just giving the... He, he, he'll go on and explain it and he'll explain it in the works. We'll come to it when we come to it. The best, perhaps the best explanation of this is when you were, I'm looking at the boys here more, but when you were eight or nine years old, and if you were really lucky and your parents really, really loved you, then they would buy you one of those things that fits on the back of the seat, you know, the steering wheel things on the cars, that sits in the back of the seat, yeah? You know, so you've got the steering wheel, and you've got the gear, and you know, all that sort of stuff. My parents didn't <laughs> love me either, I didn't get one either, right? But my friends had it. Okay, 
Like property and but anyway, that's another discussion. <laughs> right. And you sit there and you're driving along and you kinda of go like that and the car turns. Right, and then you kinda of go like that and the car turns. Alright? Are you turning the car? No. You're not turning the car. Alright? But it would seem to another child sitting there, so your younger brother, who's four years old, might well think that you're driving. Because every time you do that, the car goes that way. And every time you do that, the car goes that way. And every time you do this, it goes faster or slower. All right? What is actually bringing about the action? Your mom or dad who's driving the car. But, it, but, what, and, but what you're doing is every time you see a bend in the road, you turn. Right? Every time you see a bend, you, you turn your steering wheel. But your, your little steering wheel doesn't control the wheels of the car. Yeah? So that's a simple explanation. Right? You are nonetheless responsible for how you turn the wheel. Yeah? You're more or less responsible for how you turn the wheel. Huh? Are you responsible You're responsible for the car. You're responsible for the car. Because you're not a child. <laughs> That's the fact of it. Because, you, you know, you, you ain't a kid. <laughs> you, you're an adult. And you are responsible for your choices, even though your choices do not in and of themselves bring about the consequences. Which relates directly to the question of evil, actually. And good. Yes, I think. Oh, just about to say oh Suppose that we were the children in the back of the car. <coughs> uh, our responsibility, I thought, lied in how the children to reaction and what we would do. Uh, but where the car goes. Right, so here's the thing. Where, where, where here's the, the thing. You get in the car, mm -hmm. and your daddy, who really loves you, has bought you this thing. And daddy says to you, I want you to drive the car. Okay? Every time we come to a turn, I want you to turn the steering wheel right, left. Every time we need, to, every time we come to a traffic light, I want you to pull the thingy down, so, so you know, because that's where you have to stop, and so forth. I want you to keep an eye out for pedestrians, and so on and so forth. Now, let's say this is a fancy one, so it's a front seat one rather than a back seat one. Okay, so there you are, and you're doing, and your dad says to you, because you say, "Well, dad, I can drive a car. I can. I really, really can." Dad says, okay, I'm going to give you this, and I want you to do it. We're going to go from here to Birmingham, and I want you to do it. And I'm going to see how you do it. I'm going to see how you do it. And I'm going to give you one sweet every time you do it right, and I'm going to take one sweet away every time you do it wrong. And let's see how many sweets you end up with. Yeah? So you have been given a responsibility act like you're driving the car. And you may well think that you are driving the car. Right? You're not, but you may think that you're driving the car. But nonetheless, what you know definitely is that you've been given the responsibility to turn the wheel right, to turn the wheel, as, as Shaykh Muhammad Ali Aqubi said, right? How do you, you know, what, what's, the, what's the spiritual path? Yeah, turn right and go straight. Basically. Yeah? That's, you know, that's what you've been given the responsibility to do. Yeah? But the real control of the car is not in your hands. Yeah? The real control of the car is not in your hands. So that's a simple analogy. A simple analogy. So there are two things going on. There is, there is the game, and then there is reality. A lie is driving reality. You and I, we're in a game. We're in a game, but we are responsible for the choices we make in the game. Yes. I'm sure if I knew more about video games, I'd be able to give you a good video game analogy. But, it's been, but I've always been rubbish at video games. From the time I was a small, I was rubbish at video games. And I haven't played a video game for like 20 years, so... Maybe I would have been able to give you a good video game analogy. I can already see Osman forming a video game analogy. To, oh, it's like Call of Duty, isn't it? <laughs> yes, go on. Uh, so when uh, the Imam is talking about Ahl-Sunnah, is he including the Mu'tazili? No. No, he's not. But the Mu'tazili's... On this matter, the Mu'tazilis don't have a huge difference of opinion. The Mu'tazilis aren't different on everything, obviously. You know. Here, the difference and why he's mentioned those specific groups is that the difference is manifested 
in the in the in, in on one side you've got team free will and no responsibility on the other side you've got team uh, uh sorry team free will and full responsibility on the other side you've got team destiny and no responsibility and in the middle you have us which is team destiny plus responsibility yeah effectively and that's where the the difference kind of shakes down okay wa amal kasb this relates to the topic as for kasb the acquisition of the moral consequences of the actions that you take despite the fact that they don't do anything okay فهو عبارة عن تعلق القدرة الحادثة بالمقدور في محلها من غير تأثير. كسب refers to driving the toy car. Okay, the connect the there there is a connection between your temporal will and power and what has been decreed or what actually happens. All right. In its place, but without there being any actual effectiveness. So there is a connection between what you will and your and 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 you know the world in general and your responsibility towards it and your responsibility for what you do, but there isn't actually a con a, a causal connection between the two. The causal connect only God causes. But that's the point. Only God causes things. And that's the meaning of in Allah Allah. Kulli shay in Qadir. God has power over every shay. Over each and every shay. Of each and everything that occurs, God has a power over it. Yeah?